In this tutorial, we'll work on how to add multiple users from one of your own Excel files. From the home page of the device, you'll click Users. From Users, you're going to go to, you can see on the User page that you already have one, one uh, user on the device, you're going to go to Export. Here you get a template that will open up in a moment that shows you the individual that you already have on the system. You have to bring in by copy and paste, maybe from your own Excel file, who you'd like to be on this particular unit. So we open our own Excel file, we copy the parameters of the individuals that we want to add as users, and we copy them and then paste them into the template that we already opened up from the export file. The most important columns are number one, the telephone number. If you have added a first name or last name, you can add that. But the next most important column is the admin file, which means, or the administrator column. All of them are automatically false. If you add true, then they will be a uh, administrator on the system. So you have the phone number, you can have the first name or last name if you need. Administrator, you would write in true or false. True meaning yes, false meaning no, that they are not an administrator. And then you'll go to column H, dial to open. Remember, all of the users are automatically defaulted to a status of being able to access the system via application. If you want them to also be able to dial to open, you need to type in true. Automatically, you don't have to type it in, but you can also type in false if you want it for your record keeping, but a false is no, they can only access via accessing the application. From here, you want to make sure you click save. Once you've clicked save, you'll go back, you'll be prompted to the home page. You're going to hit import. Once you click import, you're going to choose the file that you just manipulated. You're going to then enter a country code to make sure that the phone numbers are correct. We'll use 972 for Israel. And we click Upload. From here, it'll automatically tell us how many were updated to the system, if there were any duplicates, if there are any wrong numbers. If there are any wrong numbers, it's up to you, the administrator, to detect what's the parameter for why it didn't go through or maybe to change the number. Duplications, the system will not allow for duplications. It will only keep the original that was in there. You can click out of that screen and from there you can see how many you've added and now you have eight new to your system that you already had one.